Welcome back once again. You're watching Five Talk Street. I'm Scott Murray. The Dallas Islamic Center is a nonprofit, nonpolitical Muslim organization right here in North Texas. Yasin Jaran and Osman Kazan are both board members and they have joined us here to tell us all about Ramadan and the programs at the center. And I hope I got your names correct. Yes, Gentlemen, sir. delighted to have you now. here. Thank you so much for being here. Nice Thank to be here. You. Let's talk about the I Islamic uh, Center and, and, and basically why it's here, what service uh, it provides each and every day. So the Dallas Islamic Center is here to serve, first of all, to Muslim population in mm -hmm. Dallas area. Mm -hmm. Which is, and I'll interrupt you there just for a sec, how many people are we talking about? We are talking about around 300 families. Our Here in, the, in, yes. in, in, in Dallas, okay. In, in Dallas. Uh, the, the, coming to our services, but of course, the Muslim population in the FW is much bigger. Much bigger. Okay, much bigger. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. And in addition to that, we are also uh, having a relationship with our neighbors. Mm -hmm. So we are inviting church members to our center. We are going over there. We are having together programs, mutual programs. Uh, so we are trying to enrich our understanding of our both faiths, both Muslim and non-Muslim faiths. What's been the toughest thing for you to get across to some of the other faiths as to who you are and what, what, you know, how you represent yourself? So uh, whenever we ring uh, the phone and then ask for an interview or just uh, for a meeting, mm -hmm. we never had somebody say, no, we don't want to talk with you. We, we were always welcomed. I didn't have, or we didn't have any kind of... Uh, yeah, we find yeah. most of the time people are very friendly and uh, we didn't have any kind of bad experience or anything like that. And we love to promote neighborly relationships. So we are, as part of the community, we want to be part and we want to basically share uh, our good feelings and uh, Ramadan is actually, Ramadan is actually the place or the time for that. And that's exactly what my next question. Can you tell us a little about Ramadan? Sure, Ramadan is actually the uh, ninth uh, month in the lunar calendar, which is coming in just four weeks, and which is going to start uh, July 19th. So it is normally in the summertime? Uh, it changes. It, it comes 11 days earlier every year. I see. And uh, it's a special night, uh, it's a special month for us, and we basically fast during the day, and the evenings actually it's time for worship. Also sharing uh, with neighbors, meal, uh, good conversation, getting together, uh, all those uh, good things. I had some Islamic uh, friends and what have you growing up in, in, in school and what have you, and they, they, I didn't know anything about Ramadan and, and at that time, and I, it, it was really kind of fascinating, I guess best put, to learn all the different religions, whether it was Roman Catholic, Protestant, uh, Jewish, Islam, whatever, and they said they just fasted from everything. They, they didn't do anything. Uh, they're back in the days when people smoked a lot. You, you weren't allowed to smoke. Yet. I mean, tell us about some of the, I mean, literally everything is, 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 is off limits, is it not? Um, or for the most part. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, basically, we, uh, from dawn to dusk, we don't eat or drink. Uh, it's also, in a way, we kind of restrict our uh, other, I mean, uh, let's say, uh, eyes, ears. We don't want to hear bad things. We don't want to We don't want to be. We don't want to engage in bad conversation without, or we don't want to break any hearts. So, uh, a little bit of restrictions, but also it also reminds us who we are. Uh, in a way, it's uh, self-control and uh, it increases the boundage between us and God. So uh, also, since you touched at the beginning of the question, it's, uh, fasting is part of the most, all faiths, Abrahamic faiths especially, mm -hmm. uh, Catholics, uh, Jewish uh, congregations, they, they do their own way of fasting. So it's, it's part of the different faiths as well. And, and you've kind of uh, talked about it, but I just wondered, just the entire spiritual dimension of, of, of how this all, this all works. Now, fasting is not just abstaining from eating or drinking. It's not, okay. It's not. It's also yeah. fasting inside, so your heart, even your thoughts about other people. This is something you should do at every time of the year, but this is the period where you really train yourself spiritually. So it's like a boot camp for 30 days. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So right. uh, you even don't think bad, anything bad, or make some wrong assumptions for others. So it's to that limit. So it's both spiritual and physical abstaining, abstaining from Does everything. Does it sound hard when you say it that way, no? Yeah. <laughs> no, and, 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 and certainly with our, our crazy world, or whether it's been in, in the last decade and what have you, so much, I have some, some acquaintances, as I said, even going back to my college days, that practice the Islam religion and, and are great guys. And, and it's unfortunate that so many people say, well, wait a minute, that's that. Can you kind of talk about how, how you are as much a part of, or you feel as much a part of the United States and whatever as, as anybody sure. else would? Uh, actually, uh, yes, indeed, sometimes, I mean, uh, there may be a little bit prejudices uh, mm -hmm. there uh, that we have to 
uh, go through. But it's basically uh, the idea is let's get together, let's know each other, let's talk on the food. And uh, once uh, there are some statistics out there too, if people uh, know a Muslim closely enough, probably uh, their idea of uh, the Islam and uh, Muslims, how they live, how they uh, act, uh, changes quite dramatically. And you have reached out to the Highland Park United Methodist Church, which I thought was just yes. phenomenal that you're coming together. Mm -hmm. yes. So, and, and as much as anything, probably to educate the other side. This is who we are. This is what we are all about. And yet we can coexist in a, in a very positive exactly. manner. This is going to be our seventh dinner. So we have been doing this for the past years. So we're going to have this big dinner, our congregation and congregation from mm -hmm. uh, this, this church, United Methodist Church. What a great opportunity. We come together, yes. Yeah. You look last over the last seven years. Is, what's the biggest plus for you? that has come out of this, the thing that you've enjoyed most. This is great. I'm glad we continue to do this because of what? Um, that actually, uh, togetherness is good. We had similar di uh, dinners with uh, Jewish congregation. In, uh, Just Louisville. the understanding of the other person. Yes. 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 Yeah. Always, I, we all, occasionally we had uh, people, uh, members of the other congregation mm -hmm. coming and uh, having a conversation saying that, you know what, uh, this was the first experience right. with us. Uh, sometimes actually say, this was the first time I had a uh, intellectual, good, entertaining yeah. conversation with a Muslim. Knowledge can be a wonderful thing, can yes, it? Yes, sir. It certainly can. I can't thank you enough for stopping by. Thank you thank so you. much. Thanks, Scott. And the best of luck and, uh, and look forward to, uh, to whatever's going to take place for thank your, you. your seventh thank annual, you. right? All thank right, you. very good. Don't go away. We're back with more of Five Talk Street right after this.